Welcome to today's video. We're breaking down the 2024 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine awarded to two remarkable scientists, Victor Ambrose and Gary Rovkin, for their groundbreaking discovery of microRNA and its role in regulating genes. So what exactly is microRNA? In simple terms, it's a tiny molecule found inside our cells that acts as a genetic switch, controlling which genes are turned on or off. Imagine microRNA as a master switch that fine-tunes the instructions your DNA provides, ensuring that the right genes are active in the right cells at the right time. Without microRNAs, our cells wouldn't function properly, leading to diseases. Here's how it works. Our DNA stores the instructions for making proteins, the essential building blocks of life. This process starts with DNA creating messenger RNA or mRNA, which then delivers instructions to make proteins. What Ambrose and Rufkin discovered is that microRNA binds to mRNA, stopping this process and acting as a powerful controller of gene activity. Let's meet the brilliant minds behind this discovery. Victor Ambrose, born in New Hampshire in 1953, earned his PhD from MIT and is now a professor at the University of Massachusetts Medical School. His work on the tiny worm C. elegans led to the discovery of a gene called LIN4, the key to microRNA research. Gary Rufkin, born in California in 1952, completed his PhD at Harvard and became a professor of genetics at Harvard Medical School. Rufkin's work focused on the gene LIN14 in C. elegans. Both Ambrose and Rufkin were studying the tiny roundworm C. elegans. Though only one millimeter long, this worm helped unlock some of the biggest mysteries about how genes function. Their research into the timing of gene activation in this worm led them to an unexpected discovery, microRNA. Ambrose discovered that the LIN4 gene didn't produce a protein like most genes. Instead, it produced a small RNA molecule, microRNA, that could stop another gene, LIN14, from producing its protein. This was a completely new way of controlling gene activity and revolutionized our understanding of biology. Today, we know that microRNAs are found in almost all living organisms, including humans. In fact, our bodies contain over 1,000 different microRNAs that regulate genes. Without microRNA, cells wouldn't function properly, leading to diseases like cancer or diabetes. But what does this mean for the future? The discovery of microRNA opens up incredible possibilities for medicine and biotechnology. Scientists are already exploring how microRNA can be used to diagnose diseases early by detecting abnormal microRNA levels in patients. Imagine detecting cancer long before symptoms appear simply by analyzing microRNA patterns. Additionally, microRNAs could become powerful tools for treating diseases. Researchers are working on therapies that can target specific microRNAs to switch off harmful genes, offering new treatments for cancer, heart disease and genetic disorders. The ability to control gene activity at such a precise level gives medicine a new level of precision. In short, the future of microRNA research holds amazing potential. We are just beginning to uncover its full role in human health and disease. This year's Nobel Prize celebrates a major leap in our understanding of life at its most fundamental level. Congratulations to Victor Ambrose and Gary Rovkin for their incredible contributions to science. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on groundbreaking scientific achievements. Thanks for watching.